guys, so for today's video, I will be doing a sexy bronzy type of makeup look. Um, enjoy the video and keep on watching. And here I am just hydrating my face using the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer, which is still my all-time favorite face primer. And then I am using Benefit Bravo Conditioning Eyebrow Primer. I usually use that one before I start fixing my eyebrows because it puts your eyebrows into place. And then I am going to start with my eyes today. So I am using the Pure Cease Crease Eyeshadow Primer and just blending that in. And for today's makeup look, I am actually going to use two eyeshadow palettes. First, I'm going to start off with the Huda Beauty Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This is so pretty and beautiful. Alright, so I'm just dipping into the shade Bare, setting in um, the eyeshadow primer that we used in. And then for the crease color, I am starting off with the shade Play. And we are just going to blend that all over our crease. Blend until your fingers bleed. And the second shade I will be using for the same crease will be the shade called Secret in the same eyeshadow palette. And like I said, let's keep on blending. Okay, so for the next shade, I'll be dipping into Teddy, and I'm using a different brush this time. Then we will be packing that color into the outer corner of our eyelid, just packing in the color, and then once there is less product in your brush, you can go ahead and bring it in towards the inner corner, but just around the crease area. Now using the same technique that we did with the Teddy shade, I'm dipping into the shade called Raw and I am just intensifying that outer corner of our um, in eyelid and just packing in the color and then blending it in making sure we don't have any harsh lines. And then I'm just going back into the shade Play in a blending brush and making sure that we are blending that in all over our upper crease, making sure that all of the eyeshadow colors that we have put in are blended in seamlessly. So going back into the shade Teddy, I am applying that using a flat definer brush on applying that from the inner corner of my eyelid to halfway. To my eyelid I am actually using that as a base for the next eyeshadow that I will be using which is by Dose of Colors and it is the shade on and that is from their block party single eyeshadow um, line and then as you can see I did spray my brush with a fixing mist to intensify the color and then I wasn't satisfied with the color so using a brush so I actually dipped in using my finger and I am very much happy with the results. And then going back with a brush, just making sure that we are blending everything in and that we don't have any harsh lines and everything looks perfect. Time to do my eyebrows. I will be doing this off camera and so I will be right back. Okay, so I will be adding some glow into my face since I will be using a matte foundation today and that is by Charlotte Tilbury, their Wonder Glow Face Primer. And for foundation, I will be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte pa Foundation which is uh, from their Peaches and Cream collection. Hey guys, always remember to blend in your foundation all the way down to your neck, to your chest area if you are going to be showing your chest and even your ear so everything is in one shade. 
concealer time and I will be using my all time favorite drugstore concealer which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. After blending that in with a brush, a concealer brush, I will be going in and pressing that um, concealer using a sponge. And then right after concealing, now it's time for highlighting the areas that I want to be highlighted. And I actually used a product called the Number 7 Radiant Glow Concealer, which is actually one of my favorite concealer from the drugstore as well. Setting in all that concealer that we have packed onto our face by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm using their Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is magic, guys. Magic. And going back into the Huda Beauty Nude Eyeshadow Palette, we are dipping into the shade Secret. And we are going to pack that on or blend it in all over our entire lower lash lines, starting with the outer corner first. And then once you have less product in your brush, you can go ahead and bring it in towards the inner corner is what I meant and then making sure that you're connecting your lower lash line to your upper um, eyeshadow um, colors as well and then I went back into the shade Teddy and just putting that on top of the shade Secret that first shade that we put in in our lower lash line and just blending it in making it more seamless then intensifying that outer corner, lower lash line, I dipped into the shade Tease and just applying that color right outside the outer corner. And I am just tight lining my upper lash line using the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in brown color. And I'm actually applying that also in my outer lower lash line to intensify it some more and then went back into using a brush and blended it in to make sure it doesn't look too harsh and then I went ahead and grabbed the second eyeshadow palette that I will be using for this video which is by Dominique uh, Cosmetics which is her latte palette. Dipping into the shade Macchiato and I'm just applying that into my inner corner and connecting it to my lower lash line inner corner as well. And as you can see, I actually applied it onto my eyebrows as well. I mean, apply highlighting my eyebrows for it. Then I went ahead and set my entire face using the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder and then using the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan. I used that to bronze my face since I wanted a little bit more of a glow onto my face for this look, I went ahead and added the Sun Lover Glow Bronzing Powder by Catrice. This is a really, really good bronzer, you guys. You have to give it a try. And, and then I went ahead and used the NARS Orgasm Liquid Formula for the blush. So pretty. Very natural. And then for highlighter, I am using the Bretman Rock Highlighter. That is the Morphe X Bretman Babe in Paradise Highlighter Collection and the shade I am using is the Vigation shade. I don't know if that's how you say it, but oh my gosh, I love this shade and as always, it is my favorite part of my makeup routine. Highlighter. Going back to the Dominic Cosmetics Latte Palette, I dipped my brush into the shade caramel and I just went ahead and applied that all over my lower lash line and then dipped back into hazelnut and went ahead and intensify the lower lash line some more. I wasn't satisfied so I had to add another shade um, and just fixing my eyebrows making sure they stay locked and loaded and then now I am applying my favorite lip liner at the time which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and for my lip color I am using the Smashbox is always on matte liquid lipstick in the shade Stepping Out and since it was a little bit too dark for me I went ahead and applied the Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the middle of my lips to make sure it and just going back into the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer using that to snatch my nose and then went ahead and set my face using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and that is it you guys. It is all done. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!